Hi everyone, it's Niall from windowsnoob.com and today we're going to take a quick look at fixing PKI in one of my labs and the reason for that is 2309, update 2309 for configuration manager was released today and you want your lab environment uh, in a healthy state before you try to upgrade it. Um, we did test this out a couple of weeks ago as part of a private preview I guess you could say and I just want to see if uh, everything is as expected. Now, when we did test it out a couple of weeks ago, um, one of the things I noticed at that time was this lab, Lab 11, uh, the uh, certs were expired. The reason why is because it was offline for a couple of months. I had Lab 5 on instead, and certificates that were supposed to be re-released uh, could not be released and therefore they expired. So let's take a look at fixing the certs or fixing the problems uh, in this PKI lab. Hopefully to help you guys do something similar. So first of all, I'm going to start PKI view MSC on the issuing CA. And that's a great start because I can't see anything at all. I don't know what it's doing. Here we go. And as you can see, it's verifying and yeah, it's not looking in a healthy state. So we've got an expired CDP location on the root CA and we've got a bunch of problems that are gonna show up here on the issuing CA. So as you can see, it's not happy, right? You can expand it here to get the full URL or the full list of what exactly is broken, right? So you can see some CRLs and Delta CRLs. Uh, it has some issues with unable to download. So normally when I have a PKI based lab uh, offline for a couple of months, what I do is literally just restart search services. Uh, I think it's this one. Yep. And that should take care of most of the problems. So let's let's try that. And like I said, that should take care of most of the problems. But in this case, it does not. And we get this weird error. And I've seen it a couple of times before, and I always end up going back to the same place. Google it, and you'll see why. Um, good old Stealth Puppy in Australia has blogged this, and he explains the whole problem really well, um, as you can see here. And I'll, I'll add this to the description of this video. Resolving issues starting on a, starting a CA due to an offline CRL, right? So he goes into details about the problem and how to fix it. And one of the things he adds here is this workaround. And we're just gonna do that. So as you can see, there's the error itself. So I can't actually start this now, which means I cannot see what certificates it has reissued. So in order to just get it online so I can do things, let's um, issue the command to, to fix things temporarily. So. Do that, and now I should be able to start it. Thanks, Aaron, otherwise known as Stealth Puppy on Twitter. Brilliant blog post from him. And this should start search services so that we can at least um, refresh this. And as you can see, things are looking a little bit better, maybe. Let's see. <clears throat> so it's still verifying some stuff. And it's taking extra long on the PKI ones, as you can see. And those are actual URLs. And it can't download the OCSP from the web server. So I know exactly why it's having problems downloading uh, from pki.windowsnoob.com. And the reason for that is not because the IP has changed, but because the lab has changed. So I have multiple labs and I flip between them. So let's just uh, 
go to that port forwarding, just hold on. So what I do is when I flip from one lab to another, um, I change ports. So I had lab five open, uh, port 80 open on lab five. I'm going to close that. I'm going to open it on lab 11 instead. And according to this, it's already open. Let's refresh that. It's not. So that looks better. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Refresh. Okay. Uh, let's try this one. Okay. This is looking much better, isn't it? So we're basically okay for everything except for the OCSP, which is easy to fix. Just restart the web server for that. But let's go to the root CA and see what's happening there. If I refresh, we get okay, 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 but to expired, the CDP locations. And if we look closely at what has expired there, you can see it is a CRL has expired, All right? See that there? And it's the root CA CRL. So what we do need to do next is online our offline root CA. Mine just happens to be online because I turned it on today to fix this problem. And in the offline root CA, it's offline, it doesn't have internet, this one. Uh, if I browse to the following folder, we should see another one. And in there, we've got two, two files. So if your offline root CA, which is um, gonna be off, <laughs> Uh, when you power it on again, it will issue a new CRL, as you can see here. So this one was powered on when I powered on this um, VM some time ago, but today, right? It's today's date. So uh, let's just get rid of that. Okay. So what I need to do is copy that. We need to use search utility as publish on our issuing CA. And then we need to copy it over to the web server. So let's do those things. But first we need to get it off the offline root CA. And to do that, I'm going to mount a um, another hard drive. You could connect a network cable, but you're not supposed to do that. Best practice, don't do it. Bad idea. So how else can you do it? You could just add a second hard drive. I already have an existing one. So let's do this. Where is it? Okay, let's use that one, apply. And that should show up uh, as E. We might have to online it. And I did blog how to do this using PowerShell. Yeah, I'm onlining it now uh, in my original PKI guides, so you can check there. So here is that. And as you can see, this was the last time I was playing with this exact problem. It was a month ago or so, and a couple of weeks ago, actually. And that was when I was testing out 23.09, the first release, so to speak. Okay, so let's, um, let's copy this CRL to E, and we'll overwrite that one that was there, and we should now see it here, and it is that is the right one okay so that's all we need let's offline that disk first uh, let's see can we do that offline boom and now let's disconnect it from the vm and remember by doing this you are um keeping the offline root ca offline um you don't want to have internet going in there you want it offline to save uh, are to protect the integrity of your certificates that you're issuing, right? So it's the most important of your um, uh, certificate services. So keep it offline as it should be. Right, so now what we've done is we've copied the CRL, a new CRL from the root CA to an offline disk. Let's go to the issuing CA. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that disk, just like we did. So go here hard drive, add, and we're going to browse again. 
to that one. There it is. And I think we have to do the same thing here, probably online it. <clears throat> I remember the first time I was fixing PKI in my lab um, a few years ago when I experienced these problems and back then it, f it felt very painful. But the more you do it, the easier it gets, all right? Okay, so now we have uh, onlined that disk and in there we should have the new CRL and there it is. So what we're going to do uh, on the issuing CA is we're going to copy the this we're going to use search util to, uh, with a DS publish uh, switch to um, fix that CRL. So let's um, copy it first to somewhere useful. Where should we copy it? Okay, let's do this. All right, and in here we should have our old CRL and you can see it there. And that's the one that has expired and we're gonna replace that with a new one. Um, so copy e column backslash and we're gonna copy that here. And it wants us to overwrite and we'll say yes. And now we're going to use cert util dash f dash ds publish and our new cert, not that one, not that one. This is the one. Oh, I left out one command. Root. Okay. Uh, is already in the DS store. Let's have a go. Let's see what that is like now. Can I do this? I'm going to start it again. So what is DS Publish? It publishes a certificate or CRL to Active Directory, right? So let's uh, check back here. If you remember uh, our CD, CDP location here for this CRL was uh, expired because it was using the old one. And you can verify that before we restart this one. It should be the one. And uh, let's see, yeah, dated 2020. That was the one we just replaced. Okay, so now if I do uh, this, we can see that it's okay, it's okay. So the only one that's expired or still wrong is the one that's on our web server. So the next thing we need to do is copy that to our OCSP, our web server. That's what we're gonna do. Replace it, and we're replacing the offline one, the, sorry, the one that has expired with this one. And as you can see, it's all okay. And if we go here, everything should be okay, except for the OCSP. And all we have to do there is restart that web server. Maybe even restart IAS, that might solve it. I don't think so though. I think we need to, let's restart this server. Okay, let's restart it. And when, once we've restarted it, that will solve the OCSP problem. And PKI view will look happy. And then we can go and upgrade Config Manager. All right, let's go back to the issuing CA and verify everything. So we'll start here. Off it goes. And as we can see, everything is perfect. Everything is fine and dandy. Look at that. Everything is okay. Everything is okay here. And everything is happy. So basically we've fixed the uh, problems uh, with the, the CRLs uh, expiring. And we've fixed the problem with the OCSP and our PKI environment is ready uh, for use. So now is a good time to go ahead and do all the other checks on the Config Manager server before upgrading. 
All right, that was a quick um, video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.